Hey everybody, what is up? My name is Brianne, you can also call me Alco. And in this video today, as you can tell by the title, we are gonna be talking about UVB lights again for chameleons and why it is so, so, so important that you get one when you get a chameleon. Actually, get one before you even get your chameleon because then you're all set. <laughs> So this wavelength is a wavelength of light that us as humans cannot see it, but reptiles can. That's why when you have a reptile that has or requires UVB, they gravitate to that light when they wanna bask underneath it to get all that UVB supplementation. <laughs> Now, most reptiles that can see this light, they actually have a really cool third eye. Um, some reptiles, you can detect it on them. Others, it's a little bit trickier for them to see. Um, it is called, I think it's prenatal or prenatal, I don't know. I can't pronounce it, I can't pronounce words for jackal, whatever. So I will put it on the screen. So why is the UVB light so important for chameleons? The UVB helps chameleons produce vitamin D3. And D3 helps metabolize the calcium that your chameleon is getting in their diet. And without that D3, the chameleon can't process that calcium that they need in their diet to stay healthy and strong. So what happens if you don't use that UVB light for your chameleon? Well. Without that UVB helping with the metabolism of calcium, your chameleon is gonna take calcium from their bones and from other areas of their body. So this is gonna decrease their bone mass, um, make, it more, make their bones more fragile. Um, it's also going to decrease the quality of life for your chameleon, um, some, in some cases resulting in a very fatal way your chameleon can pass. So this is, otherwise known as MBD, or medical metabolical bone disease. And it's very common in chameleons. That's why it's so big to have that UVB. I cannot stress about it enough. I say it in many of my videos, um, just get the light, it's expensive, but just get it. So if you walk into a pet store and you go to search for UVB lighting for your reptile or chameleon, the main type of UVB that you are gonna see is the coil UVB fixture. And this is a big N-O. Just because it has been found out, scientific studies of course, um, that the coil UVB does not emit enough UVB, UVB <laughs> for your chameleon. Now, I think, it, so I think it's more so the range of the UVB where it's hitting. So that coil is probably only gonna be emitting this much UVB, where in reality your chameleon is gonna be right here. So A, they're not getting that UVB that they need from these coil lights. Now, when I first started, started off with Carlo, I obviously had a coil UVB, and then I quickly learned to get a linear fixture instead. Um, I probably got it within the first year uh, when I had Carlos so back in 2017 when I had him um, and I've changed him. He hasn't had any signs of metabolical bone disease. His arms and limbs are all at a good 90 degree angle. <laughs> um, so that is something you do want to look for in a chameleon too if you are thinking that they're lacking that calcium intake and is taking it from their bones. Um, but the best thing you can do for your chameleon is buy that linear UVB light. Now, the best UVB light um, bulb, I should say, is the Arcadia brand. Now, you can get it in the 6% and the 12%, but it's more recommended that you get the 6% rather than the 12, um, just because that 12 can be a little bit too much for your chameleon. Because chameleons in the wild, they're, if you ever see a chameleon in the wild, they will be basking on a tree but they have, they're covered. Um, they're not fully covered, but there's, they're not gonna be fully exposed to that sun, to that UVB that's naturally being emitted from the sun. So if you provide your chameleon with a higher UVB than the 6%, um, it is recommended that you give your cage lots of foliage in it. So lots of plants, lots of, lots of hiding spots because you don't want that UVB to be way too strong for your chameleon best to get a 6%. Um, 
Another good thing about Arcadia, if you are thinking about deciding between the Zoomed and the Arcadia light bulbs, is that Arcadia does last longer. Now, you should get in the habit of regularly changing your light bulbs, as always, but the Zoomed, you really don't wanna go past that six month mark. Some chameleon owners actually say they've had their good, they've had Arcadia bulbs anywhere between six months to a year because they're such high quality of a bulb. Now, personally, I probably wouldn't wait till a year to change my UVB because I'm too much of a worrier. Thanks for watching this video, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give this video a big old thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. I like to make videos on chameleon care as well as I have other reptiles that I do plan to make more videos on. So please stay tuned, bye.